Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing Hollow Knight, and I'm going to show you how to complete The Trial of the Fool. If you haven't already watched my other videos, I'm going to be using this charm set up here, which is the Soul Catcher, the Shaman Stone, the Mark of Pride, and Unbreakable Strength. If you do not have Unbreakable Strength, I would suggest not using Mark of Pride, because more than likely you don't have that many charm notches. You can always switch some stuff out, go with Long Nail, Quick Slash, um, the Nail Master's Glory is super, super helpful, so in that way you can get your Great Slash up just in time to one-shot Primal Aspids. If you have one or two slots left over, Thorns of Agony or the Spore Shroom are very, very helpful as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Oh, I have to actually start it. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, just note the first time you do this, it's going to cost 800 Geo to get started, and then after that, it doesn't cost any Geo to do it over and over again if you really want to. Uh, once you complete this, you're going to get 2,700 Geo your first time, and you're going to get the full achievement. Other than that, you can do it again over and over as many times as you want, and you'll get 3,000 Geo, but you don't get anything else. There's no upgrades, there's nothing permanent you get, there's really nothing special, just other than the pat on the back, and you get to say you did it. You do get one thing out of this. Once you get through all of this, you'll get to the final boss called the God Tamer. You need to at least encounter the God Tamer in order to unlock the third Pantheon, which is part of the God Master DLC. And if you don't know what the God Master DLC is or how to get to the Pantheons, which is like the boss rush mode, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Alright, so here's that Primal Aspid. There we go. We can one-shot that guy. Just get rid of him. And if you have only one enemy alive, make sure to leave him alive long enough so that way you can actually uh, heal yourself. Because that's going to be the hard part of this is just making sure that you can get your heals in. So I've already lost half my health. And right here, I've got a chance to heal. Enemy's going to come back. He's going to turn around. There we go. Now i got a chance to heal again. There we go. I'm at full health. And Primal Aspid comes out here. We don't have to worry about the guys on the bottom. Alright, so once we get rid of the guy in the middle, he's more important than these guys just because they're, so, uh, they're so easy. You don't really have to deal with them too terribly much. Get your hits off. Get your heals in. And then if you want to, you can use spells to take them out. But I personally, I like saving my soul just in case I need it later. Take these guys out. There's two of them. And they explode, so just kind of watch out. And get a quick heal in. Alright, so watch out. A bunch of these uh, little blowy up bat things. I don't know their names. Somebody knows their names. They'll come through and kill all these guys for you. You don't have to worry about them. Alright, and these guys, I don't know why, I find these guys super annoying. Uh, I feel like they just take a lot of time to kill and chase down more than anything. Um, but it is another spot where you can just, just take your time. You can pretty much just hang out underneath this platform right here and kill any of them that, that come by. Just kind of keep jumping and hitting up. Um, and you're, you're pretty safe. You've got plenty of chance to heal and, uh, and get your soul up in this area. This is, this is still like the, the first half of what we need to do, and it, it hasn't gotten hard yet. You can also Great Slash these guys, and I think that with anything less than a Pure Nail, you can, it might take one hit or two with the Great Slash. I'm, I'm forgetting. I think you can Great Slash with one hit. So here's where things start getting a little bit hot, harder. Just jump up a little bit. And always use your Great Slash and get these Primal Aspids as quickly as possible. Oop, missed my shot. There we go, just like that. Get your hit in and then jump. You can heal. So now these Garpedes are going to be coming from either side. You can stay right here and then heal a little bit. You can jump down. And then you also have a chance to heal once before this next round comes up. And remember, your Great Slash will deal damage above you, as well as to the side. There we go. 
and you don't have too much of a chance to heal. Sometimes you can get one off real quick. Watch out for that primal aspid that comes up right above you. It's super quick. So these guys, are the traitor lord guys, are, are kind of annoying. I know they're not the actual lords, but... Okay, so with this guy, just note that you have a chance to heal with these guys. All you have to do is dodge and then heal right here. And then dodge and then heal. You've got, a, you've got plenty of time to heal as long as there's only one of these guys. I like to get rid of him as quickly as possible and then focus on the air guys. Just because the air guys are super annoying. Um, if you've got the if you've got the soul, just use your Abyss Shriek to take them out quickly. And hopefully you can get a heal in real quick. There's three. And then you gotta watch out for these guys who are super annoying. Whenever you can, you wanna dash towards where they're shooting the soul, just like that. And so if you use a uh a a great slash it's gonna take these guys out very quickly and then just watch out for the the follies that are on the ground so with these guys you can usually typically one shot them with a great slash or maybe it takes two hits but uh, just watch out that you've also got these guys on the ground they give you a chance to heal but once you kill all of the follies the next enemy is gonna be coming in pretty quick just like that and then just watch out for the follies as you're doing, trying to fight this guy. They just give it one level of making it harder. Just remember the follies also give you tons of soul, so you do have a chance to use it. Darn it. <laughs> you do have a chance to, to use the follies as a way to get extra soul. There we go. Get rid of him. And we got one of these guys. Get rid of him. Easy. Now we gotta fight both of them. Just use your great slash and abuse it as much as you can. And just kind of jump in circles whenever the electricity is coming up. And we got another one of these. And I like to aim for this guy first, just because he's so annoying. And once you take him out, you do have a quick chance to heal finally. And I like to get rid of the air guy first, just because you can single him out before going after this guy. You don't have too much of a chance to heal for a little bit. With these guys, I highly use uh, suggest using the Desolate Dive to take them out. Just because you'll get the invincibility frames and you can get them pretty quick. With him, kite him up to the top, and then get a quick heal in if you can. Kite him up to the top. You're going to need as much health as you can get here in just a second. And sometimes you won't be able to get that health. Just get your hits in and then back off. Get a couple hits in, back off. Alright. There you go. We're most of the way full on health, which is going to be really good because next is going to get really, really difficult once the ground goes away. And there's nothing but spikes and walls. This is where you're really going to want that great slash and Nail Master's Glory is really going to shine in this area coming up. So go ahead and make your way towards the top. And use great slash as soon as the enemies come out. The one thing that's hard about great slash is that it makes it hard to down pogo but uh, there you go so we want to just down pogo on the enemies as much as possible down pogo jump down pogo and jump that's kind of the the way to do this jump down pogo ah, I didn't see where he was you don't have a chance to heal on that platform unfortunately but here we go down pogo jump Remember, every time you do a down pogo, it resets so you have a second jump. Just like that. There we go. Nice and easy. It's not super easy, but just keep doing it. Just down pogo and jump. Get some quick heals in here. And I like to get the Great Slash ready. 
Some people like to hug the wall here. I like to just kind of stay here and just watch for what's coming your way. There's just a lot going on, but you can still... Sometimes, sometimes you get lucky and you just sit here and don't take any damage until you start opening your mouth and talking. Try and get some health real quick. And it looks like we're starting over pretty much at the beginning, so just be real careful. Especially these Mantis Lord, Trader Lord type guys. There we go, Bishriek. So now we only have that guy left. This is our best chance we have to heal. So we're going to kite him over to the side nice and slow. <laughs> don't kill him and don't die. Those are your two main things. We can get three heals off right here. Alright, there we go. There we go, we got a little bit more soul. And we're gonna focus on the guy who's putting out the electricity first, just because he's the most annoying. And this guy's not gonna give us any chill to be able to heal. So we'll just finish him off and then get a heal in real quick. I suggest leaving the guy, the flying guys, like killing the flying guy first, and then taking out one of these roly polies. Hopefully, not both of them. Okay, they're just bumping into each other. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. They're gonna keep bumping into each other until I t until I start talking. There we go. So now we're at full health, and we're getting very, very close to the final boss here. I don't even really use too many spells on the final boss, like at least not right off the bat. You'll end up doing a lot of nail damage, so we're all right here. All right, so over on the right, we got the God Tamer coming out. And the God Tamer uh, is going to jump towards wherever you are, so I like to get close and then back off. And so with the orange goo, you want to stay kind of like in a mid-range. If you start jumping and getting too crazy, it's really easy to get hit by it. And you really just need to take out the big one and not worry about the, the little ant looking thing. Once you take this guy out, the thing's over. Just watch out that if you get into a one-on-one -on -one and he's looking right at you, he's going to walk towards you. So just know that that's going to happen and be ready for it. Whenever the goo comes out, I just walk away from it and you're pretty good to go. Whenever he turns into a ball, he's going to go to your last known location. So you always want to kind of make sure that you're in a safe spot. Ooh, almost got me. There we go. And just like that, we beat the God Tamer and the Trial of the Fool. If you were having a difficult time with this trial or with any of the other trials, be sure to click on the playlist over on the left-hand side. This is going to help you find all of the permanent upgrades in the game, from masks to soul vessels to the Pale Ore, which is going to allow you to upgrade your nail, and also my favorite charms in the game for both spell builds and nail builds. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more soon.